Hello guys, today we're going to talk about AWS CDK. So it's a kind of like DevOps tool so which uh, like you can provision your infrastructure through the code. So here we go. So AWS CDK stands for AWS Cloud Development Kit. It's a framework for defining cloud infrastructure in code. So you have to write very less number of lines for it. And it provision your infrastructure through AWS Cloud Formation Service. You can build your CDK application rapidly with high-level constructs, so which are basic building blocks of CDK apps. So construct is a like terminology in AWS CDK. So what is your construct exactly? So can represent a single AWS service. So which is S3 or it could be higher level abstraction of multiple AWS related service. So like API gateway and Lambda can represent a one construct also. So it's all up to you how you assemble your uh, constructs. And one of the good benefit is like you can use one of the supported programming language. So like TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, Java, .NET and Go to define these reusable cloud components known as construct. So these are widely and most popular language and most of the people who are in IT industry know these languages. So it's a like language of your choice. Uh, can be used So what are the benefits of infrastructure as a code you can employ like software engineering practices such like code reviews unit test source control To make your infrastructure more robust so you can check in your uh, like code in github or big bit bucket So all those kind of repository which are used for source control maintenance so the next is AWS CDK engine. So how you will assemble these uh, like CDK application. So here you can see like you can have a construct which represent like SQS and then Lambda is pulling from the SQS to process the message. So you can have like one construct which is made of two AWS service. And then same way like you can have another construct also like for data storage like s3 and dynamodb so these are related services so we are like saying here you can put it in a single construct also and then these multiple constructs uh, like compose a stack so stack is composed of these like stack can have multiple constructs and like application can have like multiple stacks also and this application can be written in typescript javascript python so which i explained in my previous slide so when you want to deploy this stack so it's gonna generate a cloud formation template and like which is then executed by aws cloud formation service and then it's gonna provision your infrastructure in your account so this icons represent like your aws services which are provisioned into your aws account thank you so much for watching this video